Hey, Kendrick, how are you? Cell phone charger back there if you need one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's cool. I'll put my stuff in your trunk. Right? Oh, absolutely. But you know what? You have to close it a little harder. It keeps saying like it is and isn't open, so it looks like the latch is undone if you want to just you want give me it to a go good back one. Yeah, if you don't mind, you just give it okay. a good one. Yeah. Perfect. Is it closed now? Yep, yep, okay. thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I got this car when there was like a car shortage. Yeah. So they didn't have the ones that open and close on their own. Like I just wish, I'm like, I wish I could just push a button. Make it easy on everybody. Yeah. This person trying to turn around That's here. what this cord is, a phone charger? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. How's your night going so far? Um, it's going pretty okay. I'm just tired of moving back and forth. Oh. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? You're moving? Not really. Oh. Uh, this is my dad's house. I'm. I really live with my grandma. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm. I just. I'm like I was kind of worried about like unpacking. Like I hate unpacking. Oof. And sure. Taking my clothes out, but I'll be alright. Mm -hmm. How's your day going? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, I've been driving around like crazy. It's, it's good. I live on the north side of Chicago. Oh, you live all the way up north? Yeah, by Wrigley, so. Oh, the, the baseball stadium? Yeah, exactly. Is that the White Sox or the Cubs? That one's the Cubs. Oh. Yeah, the White Sox is the one that's over here by uh, like 70-something. Oh. Yeah, and then so the one up there is Cubs. And then I live even past there, like 15 minutes, 10 minutes past there. You know where... Um, Lakeshore Drive, where it ends, yeah. I'm right there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So now I got to make my way back there after after I drop you off. Uh, oh, so this your last Uber? Yeah, and they have this cool thing where you can be like, only give me rides going that way. Like, you can filter it. So that's what I'm going to do is filter it. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, I usually only ride, I only drive, like, after work. I work 9 to 5. And then from 5 to 10, I'll drive after. Yeah, I'm actually, so I do, um, I'm actually a comedian. Yeah. So if you see, I have a microphone here, and I interview people while I drive them around. That's like my passion. That's what I love to do. So you interviewing me right now? I mean, where I'm asking questions. We're having a conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, am I on video or just... Yeah, just, so this is a GoPro. It's going now. And so I interview people. Um, I, I don't have it, like, posted online, but I'd like to. Oh. Um. And so the it just show depends on what y'all talking about. Exactly. Yeah. I, and like, so I just started. Like, I just started recording in February. Of and this so, year. Of this year. Yeah. Okay. This year. So it's really new. Um, so I'm still getting the hang of it just to figure it out. I had to get like a couple different microphones and try them out and, and right. see. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Like just talking to people about their perspective and stuff like that. It's just been it's been interesting. Yeah. You pick people up at work and they have like weird jobs, cool jobs, interesting jobs. So it's it's been pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. I just got off work myself like probably like 20 or 30 minutes ago. Oh, nice. What do you do for work? Uh, I, you know, constantly I'll be a cashier sometimes. Nice. Okay. Or I'll be, I do maintenance. Like I'm, I just, today was my first day starting to do maintenance, like training, like for janitor. Mm, okay. Or um, stocking or putting food back on the shelves. Sure. <laughs> Canned goods, stuff like that. I get you. Yeah, so keep the whole place running. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty great. Honestly, that type of maintenance work, janitorial service and all that, like, that is so important for humans, cleanliness. Like, if janitors yeah. didn't exist, like, everybody would be sick all the time. Yeah, because a lot of people don't, they don't flush the toilet, you, like, especially if you take a number two. Yeah. You go in the public restaurants, people don't even be flushing the toilet. Oh, that's annoying. I totally know what you mean. I've walked into enough bathrooms to have a, a, a poop in there. They'd be like, really? I got it now. Like, I, I won't even too? be upset if you if you urine, if you just peed and then flush the toilet. But if you take it on two, come on, man. At right. least you got to flush the toilet. There's a there's a rhyme for a reason. If it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, leave it mellow. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole reason. You're supposed that. to flush it anyway, but at least, come on, if you that lazy, at least flush it when you take it on two, man. Exactly. I know some people don't like to touch 
They don't like to touch the... Yeah, they use their feet or something. Or right? they use a piece of tissue or something. Yeah, see, so that's exactly it. Some people don't want to do all that hassle. They're just like, no, I'm just going to leave it. But no, like, you're absolutely right. We should flush. I feel like that's... That's the... Should be the motto for society. You got to... Everybody flush your shit. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. In life, flush your shit. <laughs> yeah. Right? Don't yeah, leave it Yeah, but I had, the, I had to... I had to... I had to like kind of leave a little early today because I, I was feeling lightheaded. Oh man. Yeah, like man, there ain't no good feeling. No. And, like I um, like I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I deal with like depression and anxiety a little bit. Yeah. So that go hand in hand sometimes, and I'm on a once a month shot too. So okay. I don't know if the shot is wearing off. Sure. Like so, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow to get the shot, but I don't know. I haven't made my mind, but I don't, I might get it, but I don't know if I want to get it because. It has side effects like when you when you when it's when it's like coming off lingering yeah. down, down off you you will start shaking a little bit. Like, oh man, that's rough. not like I'm cold or nothing, but like, you know when you, you cold, like I just start shaking a little bit. Really, cold shivers. Enough. Interesting. Do you do anything else to manage your anxiety? Uh, no, I, I need to work out. Start working out. Right, that's like, part of it. Natural stuff, like, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't eat right. I need to. I eat a lot of junk food, mm -hmm. candy. Chocolate chips, all that. I oh need yeah, to, I need to eat right. Right, and that and that really is it. And again, I I have that same issue. I have anxiety, depression, all that stuff. And it really it took me a while to figure out and to dial it in. Honestly, I, I ignored it for the most part. I would just I get really fat. Right. I would just eat a bunch, drink a bunch, smoke it away, drink it away, um, and not think about it. But it, it became where I just said, you know, this is a wheel, right? If I'm yeah, not, if I'm not like high, if I'm cycle. not drunk. Yeah, so it's like I got to start doing stuff for me because I didn't, I just didn't want to feel that way all the time. All and right. so, and so that's where I added it. And so for me, yeah, I added exercise, you know, it started easy um, with like really mild stuff. I actually got, you know what I got is, um, and they're not too expensive. They're like about 140 bucks. You can get a sauna where you can like stick your head out and you can sit in it. And like watch TV, and it's got like little holes for like a remote control you can read or whatever. So it's something. It's like out. a blanket or something. You put it's on a it's oh, a box. Shit. It's a box you sit in. Oh. Yeah. So it's like a little box you sit in. You can fold it up and put it away if you like have to like share a room or whatever, or share space with people. Um, but what's great about it is is heat shock protein, our antidepressant, and on top of that, it's like it's like exercising without doing anything. You're just sitting there. All right. If just, you're just sweating. Yeah. Just. Yeah. And so if you're watching TV, you might as well be doing getting the sweat on anyways, and it, you feel a little better from it. And that was like kind of the start. And then now where I live, I have a gym, and so like I can work out every morning, and right. like, and I have like a, a yoga workout I do, plus like extra, you know, cardio bike and all this stuff. Um, yeah. But it's just building, building the little habits, building little habits. Do you do any um, meditating? Have you looked into? Any I used to. I used to try to do it, but I can't do it for too long. I can do it for like five ten minutes sure sure and that sometimes that's all you need really that's sometimes all you need is the five or ten minutes to start um to get the day going and then add it you know a couple of times that's my like first thing as soon as i wake up i get out of bed i go to the bathroom and then i do like 10 10 to 20 minutes of meditating um breath work stuff like that they've got some really great apps and those are things that i find really Same really great help. like good apps yeah like they've got the a phone. lot of good apps headspace app is one of them um a type of breathing I just started doing that I'm like really I really love is the Wim Hof method. If you've have you heard of Wim Hof? No. Movie? Okay. So he's known as the Ice Man. Wim Hof, um, like he can go at like negative forty degrees in like shorts, and his skin temperature won't change. This is a he lives. Is a living regular human being. He's a regular human being. Wim Hof. They call him the Ice Man. He wrote a book about it, and all it is is breath work, breathing work. And so you can search on, on, on YouTube, Wim Hof tutorial, like a guide, has a guided method. It's 11 minutes. You do f three rounds of, of breath work that he does this type of breathing. All you do is just take a big breath, let it out. Big breath. You would think it's that's all it is. Big breath, let it out. Yeah. Big breath, let it out. Then when you let it out, you hold your breath 30 seconds, one minute, and then a minute and 30 through, with each round increases. And, and what that does is it forces your body to make red blood cells right. and it uh, hyper oxygenates your brain. Right. And you and like I love it. It makes me like ready to get out of bed and like to start stuff. It used to be a struggle to get out of bed. When yeah, when but let me ask you this. I got a question. Sure. So when you like say if I'm just doing regular workouts like running on a treadmill or something or just jogging outside somewhere, yeah. um, like what do you call them? 
it's it, are those endorphins in your brain? Or the something? endorphin, yeah, endorphins. Are those the things release. that make you feel good? Or yeah, something? your body releases those to make you feel good, but you have to do something hard. You have to suffer a little for to get right. those. You got to work for them. You got to get your heart rate up, and you got to be, and then you get the endorphins. But that's exactly right. All right. Now they so. Um, the, I just wanted to know because I heard people talk about those. Right, and they have right, to, and they who knows what the names are, but yeah, endorphins. So, um, I'll tell you there. I had a doctor who put it down. She said, she says every morning you get a dose: dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, epinephrine, um, and endorphins. Endorphins is, is what it is. That's right, not epinephrine. And so, dopamine is that chemical in your brain that makes you motivated. Say, okay, let's keep going. We're gonna get a reward. Keep doing this. All right. Oxytocin is that feeling of closeness that you have with someone, right? Serotonin is that feeling of good. That's that chemical of like feeling good. And then um, endorphins are all of those hormones that make you feel good. And epinephrine is adrenaline. And melatonin, that, that helps you sleep, right? Right. Melatonin helps you sleep. If you hang out in the dark, if you just spend time with lights low, your brain will naturally make it. It's, it's I recommend it. It will make you sleepy, it. basically. Exactly. Like, so, like, before bed, um, if I'm gonna go, I go to bed at 10, I turn the lights down low uh, at eight o'clock at night, and then I'll chill out, and then I'll get ready to go to bed at 10. So like that's that's kind of the, the getting ready for it. And that's part of, honestly, handling it, depression and anxiety is sleep, making sure that your sleep is routine and regular. They've actually found that like, if you got a lot of bright lights on and staring at your screen before bed, yeah. that will actually lead to depression. Wow. Yeah, so like doing it, say, okay, if you're going to go to bed, at, say your, your bedtime's 12 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, you know, do, you can put your phone to grayscale so that it doesn't have color. Turn the dim, the brightness down so it's not as bright. And then don't turn overhead lights on. If you, right. you have only do lamps, if you're going to have lights. Candles are a really good one, too. Um, I ain't going to lie. To be honest with you, bro, like, I wish I could have, like, learned all this when I was younger. I'm, I'm oh, still sure. young. I'm only, 20, I'm only 22 years old right now. Sure. But I wish I could have, like, you know, before I started feeling depression and anxiety, I wish I yeah. could have practiced good habits while I was young. But sure. well, it's still I, not too late, though. Yeah, no, it, honestly, when I, I started doing this stuff in my 30s, and I said I wish I had done this when I was in my 20s. Right. So here you are. It's the same exact thing. So these are the things that are they're definitely – there's a great um, – if you like podcasts, there's a great guy to listen to called Huberman. Like you talking about them interviews, them. Yeah, be on a, uh, yeah. He like just what to. exactly? He just talks. All he it's a lot of science, um, but what he does is he um, takes all those studies and he reads the results and interprets them and explains them and says, "Here's the takeaway." So right. you don't have to read a whole study. You don't have to do all this stuff. He'll just say, "Here's the things to do." Uh, and so that's the, the get your sleep in order. He has stuff for depression, has stuff for anxiety. A lot of great tools. Yeah. There's a lot of great tools right on, 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 the the, on the left here. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of great tools on the internet. I definitely, definitely recommend. There's a car coming, so we'll okay. let them cruise by. Let's see. And then, like, do they have room? We should. Yeah, so Huberman, that's the guy I recommend. It, you, he's on YouTube, he's got a podcast. Um, and he's got a website and you can look at all that stuff and it'll it'll kind of give you exactly those tips on things to do for anxiety, depression, and for sleeping better. And honestly, just those three things alone, you might not even need medication. You might not right. even need it. You might not need anything at all. And then if you add exercise to it, if you add supplements, which he talks about those too, you might not need those. Because how much What's does that shot cost? It, it's free because I, oh, I got good. insurance. Oh, that's Have good. Have you heard that's of Meridian good. Insurance? Meridian. I've yeah. never heard of them, but that's good that they cover it for you. What's his name again? Huberman. So it's Hub. So think Hub Erman. So H-U-B-E-R. And that's the one that has the podcast? That's he's And got I could look him up on YouTube. Yep, right? look him up on YouTube. Huberman, he's got a ton of stuff. He'll help your sleep. He'll help you exercise better, help you for depression and anxiety. He's, he goes into all sorts of stuff, and he's got great takeaways for it. Great takeaways on stuff to do, yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. It was great chatting, Kendrick. Have a good one, man. All right, you too. Thank all you. Right. Okay. Cool, cool.